little friends. If you have a special dream story ideas or a magical adventure in your mind, let me know in the comments below, and I'll make it into a wonderful tale just for you. Don't forget, dear friends, to like and subscribe to our channel for more stories together. Disney Princess's Halloween Day In the heart of the kingdom of Arendelle, nestled between shimmering lakes and towering mountains, a chill in the air hinted at the arrival of Halloween. This year, Queen Elsa decided to host a grand celebration for her friends, inviting the most beloved princesses from far and wide to join her in the festivities. Each princess received a beautiful, enchanted letter that glittered with frosty blue ink. Dear Princess, I invite you to the Arendelle Palace for an unforgettable Halloween celebration. Dress in your most magical attire and prepare to enjoy a night of mystery and wonder. See you at dusk. Elsa's letter reached each kingdom in turn, sparking excitement as the princesses began planning their decorations and outfits. Cinderella was the first to receive the letter in her cozy cottage. Inspired by her own history with pumpkins, she transformed her castle garden into a pumpkin paradise. Large carved jack-o'-lanterns glowed with warm lights along the pathway to her castle. She chose a deep midnight blue gown with silver sparkles that resembled a night sky filled with stars giving her a mysterious, ethereal look. Meanwhile, back in Arendelle, Elsa was preparing her palace for a frosty Halloween night. She created ice sculptures of wolves, ravens, and other creatures that howled and cawed when anyone passed. Elsa chose a sleek gown in glistening white and silver that shimmered like snow under moonlight, completing her look with a crown of icy thorns. In the kingdom of Atlantica, Ariel was excited to blend Halloween with her underwater world. She decorated her palace with floating jack-o'-lanterns made from seaweed and enchanted shells that flickered in the darkness. Ariel chose a shimmering green and purple gown with a flowing cape resembling the ocean waves while sea stars adorned her hair. Belle transformed her castle's vast library into a haunted maze filled with enchanted books that whispered secrets as guests passed. Her golden gown took on a spooky twist with black lace and a rose-shaped ruby pendant that glowed with mysterious magic. In Enchantia, Princess Sophia set up her castle courtyard with friendly forest creatures. Carved pumpkins and lanterns were placed all around, illuminating a woodland path. Sophia wore a lovely gown in lavender, adorned with tiny bat and owl patterns that shimmered under the night sky. Rapunzel decorated her tower with floating lanterns and hung enchanted glowing vines that wrapped around the castle walls. She chose a dress in shades of autumn leaves with gold and orange hues, and her long braided hair was decorated with tiny, twinkling fairy lights. In her kingdom, Aurora set up a Halloween-themed garden full of mystical flowers that glowed in different colors under the moonlight. She chose a dress in soft shades of midnight blue and silver with a glittering tiara that looked like stars. As dusk began to settle across the lands, each princess set out from her kingdom, filled with excitement. The enchanted letters Elsa sent created a magical, glowing path that guided each princess toward Arendelle. They marveled at how their gowns sparkled in the evening light, perfectly matching the Halloween theme of mystery and magic. One by one, the princesses arrived at the gates of Arendelle. Cinderella was the first to enter, her midnight blue gown casting an enchanting glow as she approached the palace steps. Aurora arrived soon after, her dress shimmering like a dreamy night sky. Ariel glided onto land with a sea breeze at her back, her ocean-themed attire sparkling. Inside the palace, Elsa awaited her guests with a warm smile. She decorated the grand hall with snowy cobwebs, ghostly sculptures, and flickering candles that cast eerie shadows. Her sister Anna, dressed as a playful witch, was by her side, ready to welcome their friends. As Belle entered, she was in awe of the frosty decorations Elsa had created. She felt as though she had stepped into an enchanted snow forest, with each ice sculpture more magnificent than the last. She approached Elsa with a smile, admiring the intricate designs that brought the Halloween spirit to life. Rapunzel soon joined them, her braid decorated with glowing fairy lights. She looked around in wonder, her eyes lighting up at every snowy cobweb and haunted ice sculpture. Elsa, you really outdid yourself, she exclaimed, twirling with excitement. Ariel, as if carrying the ocean spirit with her, delighted in the icy atmosphere of the palace, 
which reminded her of her underwater home. This feels just like being in the depths of the sea, she said, her smile bright as she explored. Sophia arrived with her animal friends close behind her, including Clover the rabbit and Robin the bird, who wore tiny Halloween hats. They excitedly joined the other princesses, adding to the magical ambience with their playful, cheerful presence. As Cinderella entered, her midnight blue gown gave her an almost otherworldly aura, blending with the shadows as if she herself was part of the mysterious night. She took a moment to admire the decor, then joined the others, her eyes shining with excitement. The princesses all gathered in Arendelle's grand hall, where candles floated in midair, illuminating the room with a warm, haunting glow. Elsa welcomed everyone, thanking them for traveling to Arendelle and inviting them to explore the palace, which was filled with hidden surprises and spooky decorations. Elsa led them through a haunted hallway she'd set up with her magic, where portraits of past kings and queens winked and whispered. Belle was thrilled by this spooky library-style setup, while Sophia marveled at the enchanted paintings. Next, they entered the grand ballroom, which Elsa had enchanted to resemble a ghostly dance hall. Shadows of dancers appeared, swirling and twirling to the soft melody of ghostly violins. Cinderella and Aurora danced through the ballroom, their laughter filling the air. Ariel then led everyone to an enchanted fountain Elsa had created in the courtyard, where magical bubbles floated and reflected the night sky. The princesses dipped their hands into the fountain, watching the water glow under their touch. In the garden, Rapunzel had set up a lantern-lit maze. Each lantern was enchanted with clues and riddles, leading the princesses on a fun adventure through the winding paths. Sophia's animal friends guided her, while Belle led the way, solving riddle after riddle. When midnight approached, the princesses gathered at a grand feast in the palace's dining hall. The long table was filled with Halloween-themed treats, pumpkin tarts, frosted cookies shaped like bats and ghosts, and cakes topped with spun sugar cobwebs. Anna surprised everyone by presenting a Halloween cake shaped like a snowman with a ghostly grin. Olaf wanted to be part of Halloween, too, she laughed, slicing the cake and sharing it with her friends. Elsa served frosty candy apples with a magical twist. Each bite revealed a different fruity flavor. The princesses giggled with delight as they tasted the unique treats, surprised by each new flavor they discovered. Cinderella shared a story of her own about Halloween nights in her kingdom. Every Halloween, my animal friends helped me carve pumpkins, she began, explaining how each pumpkin represented a wish for happiness and protection for the people. Rapunzel decided to add a spooky twist, sharing a ghost story she'd heard from her village. The princesses listened with wide eyes as Rapunzel recounted tales of a mysterious figure who wandered her forest by night. Aurora shared a softer Halloween tradition from her kingdom, where people would make wishes on the stars and light candles in memory of those they loved. The princesses all agreed to light a candle in memory of their own loved ones. After the feast, Elsa led the princesses to a room where she had set up various Halloween-themed games. From bobbing for magical apples to guessing spooky riddles, the games were designed to challenge and entertain each princess. In the first game, Elsa enchanted the apples with hidden magical powers. Each princess had to bob for an apple, and upon biting into it, they'd receive a temporary power. Ariel giggled as her apple gave her the ability to sing like a bird, while Bells allowed her to read minds for a few moments. Sophia suggested a pumpkin tossing game, where each princess had to toss a small glowing pumpkin into cauldrons placed at different distances. With each successful toss, the cauldrons would let out sparkly fireworks. Aurora impressed everyone by tossing her pumpkin into the farthest cauldron. Belle's favorite game was the Mystery Cauldron Riddle Challenge. Each cauldron contained a scroll with a riddle, and each princess took turns solving them. Rapunzel, with her love for puzzles, solved the most riddles and was declared the winner of the challenge. Ariel brought a touch of the ocean with a shell hunting game, where the princesses searched for enchanted shells hidden throughout the palace garden. Each shell held a small trinket as a Halloween keepsake, and Sophia found a pearl necklace that sparkled with magic. Elsa then introduced her ghost hunt, where enchanted snowflakes acted as ghosts the princesses had to catch. The snowflakes zoomed around the garden, glowing faintly in the dark. Aurora caught the first one, and Cinderella caught the final elusive ghost. For the last game, Rapunzel handed out lanterns for each princess. 
she encouraged them to write down a Halloween wish before setting their lanterns afloat. One by one, the lanterns drifted into the night sky, casting a warm, magical glow over Arendelle. As the celebration neared its end, the princesses gathered by the grand staircase for a final toast. Elsa thanked everyone for making the night so magical, lifting her glass to all the friendships and memories they shared. Before leaving, Cinderella gave each princess a tiny pumpkin charm to remind them of this special night. May this charm bring you warmth and happiness whenever you need it, she said, tying a charm around each of their wrists. Belle, as a final parting gift, presented each princess with a small book where she had written a story capturing the night's magical moments. Now we'll always remember tonight, no matter where we are, she said with a smile. Ariel handed each princess a shell necklace she had brought from the sea. So that no matter where you go, you'll always feel close to the ocean, she explained, placing one around each friend's neck. Aurora closed her eyes and made a heartfelt wish for each of her friends to have beautiful dreams and peaceful nights. May all your dreams be as bright as tonight's stars, she whispered. Rapunzel lit one final lantern, sending it off with a whispered wish for friendship and future reunions. The lantern rose above them, casting a warm light that seemed to carry their laughter and joy into the night. Sophia gave each princess a small potion bottle she had crafted with her magical friends. This will give you a sprinkle of magic whenever you need it, she said, smiling as each princess tucked it safely away. Anna hugged each princess and invited them back for future celebrations. You're always welcome here in Arendelle, she said with a smile. Elsa nodded, promising to keep their bond alive. The princesses gathered for one last group hug, all of them feeling the warmth of their friendship. We'll see each other soon, Cinderella said, her voice filled with joy and gratitude. As the princesses made their way outside, enchanted carriages awaited each of them. The horses, dressed with twinkling lights, whinnied in excitement as the princesses approached ready to take them back to their kingdoms. Each princess waved goodbye to her friends as she boarded her carriage. The night sky was filled with stars, and the glow of Halloween lights illuminated Arendelle as each carriage pulled away, disappearing into the night. Cinderella, the last to leave, took a final look at the palace and sighed happily. Thank you, Elsa, for such a magical night, she said, giving a final wave before her carriage began its journey home. When the princesses returned to their kingdoms, they each brought with them cherished memories of Arendelle's Halloween celebration. They placed their keepsakes on their dressers, keeping them as reminders of the magical night. Back in the palace, Elsa and Anna reflected on the night, happy they had brought so much joy to their friends. They promised each other to make Halloween an annual event, inviting their friends for a night of magic and friendship. With hearts full of joy, Elsa and Anna began planning next year's Halloween, dreaming of new games and surprises to share. And as they drifted off to sleep, the palace filled with a warm, comforting silence, knowing the spirit of friendship would always remain. As each princess settled in for the night, they knew that Arendelle's Halloween celebration would forever be a treasured memory. The night had been filled with laughter, friendship, and love, a bond that would continue to glow in their hearts. And so... The story of the princess's Halloween night in Arendelle became a cherished memory, one they would revisit every Halloween night.